Okay, what we have here is uh, we're going from fuel oil. This was a forced air fuel oil furnace. And uh, it had a uh, air conditioner on top of it. The coils basically shot on that air conditioner. And uh, so it's leaking Freon. But the real problem is having fuel oil as the source of the fuel. And you're talking like $2,500 a year if you want to keep the house warm. You know, compared, go to natural gas, about $800 a year. So there's some substantial savings uh, going to natural gas. And the gas company is going to put the gas out here for $389. Because all they have to do is go right across the street. And, uh, and I'll run all the gas piping inside and pull the permits. And, uh, and so uh, starting to pull out the gas furnace and I wanted to check the integrity of the exhaust uh, stack and as soon as I pulled off the horizontal piece it dumped a huge pile of uh, soot as you can see right there just in a little four foot section of pipe and up here on the vertical rise that sucker's full too Get the light up there you can see all the soot all the way to the roof. So I'll be cleaning that out with a brush. I'm going to do that now and because uh, I'm going to use the existing uh, exhaust, which is a double wall, aluminum lined. I'll make sure it's in good condition. So here's what we got on top of the vent. And uh, I'm going to change that out it's a little bit close. A little bit close to the uh, tar. I'm gonna raise that up and uh, still gonna keep it inside the little metal decorative uh, rain shield. And then uh, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna send the brush down and I, I got a bag waiting down on the bottom. Get the brush in there with the drill. That'll uh, clean out that vent pipe. Here's where the old unit was. I already started uh, breaking it down for recycle. It's on a slope there. So I'm gonna end up uh, just putting that, that's actually a brick wall behind that hill. Underneath that siding is uh, cinder blocks. So I'm gonna get that unit up off of that hill. Cause uh, you always have to shim it. You see right there, it wants to go down the hill. And, uh, and then the gas meter is going to go in right here and then they're going to run the gas just right out to the street. The gas company will hook that in. And then I'm working on piping now. I'm using black iron. Got my pipe there. Threader. Oil. CO2 blowing everything clean. That's what I'm working on today, getting the piping in. All right, we got our gas line put in. Here's for the furnace. Got over here for the future gas water heater. I got that one capped off. Because uh, right now that electric water heater, not that old. And we run along the ceiling here. And that goes up to the kitchen. Got it under the stove. It runs along the ceiling. Out through the garage. And right here where the meter will be. Got my high precision gauge on there. Pressure's actually going up because it's morning and uh, the pipes are warming up. Let's see, five, seven, it's three decimal places, five, eight. So it kind of acts like a thermometer as the, uh, you know, if there's any leaks, the pressure will go down. But we got it tight, so the pressure's actually going up. And then have the meter 
will go right here. All right, we got our furnace in and our ductwork, and got it up 16 inches on blocks. We got our vibration dampener tied into the old ductwork. I put some rust, rusty metal primer, sticks to the rust. I painted the rust in the old ductwork. Also, I cleaned it up on the inside. Here's our return. I went ahead and used the old air filter. And uh, these are just a big box. It takes the uh, 20 by 25 cartridges. Those last forever. And we got our ductwork here. Here's a nice thing is I, I lined the ductwork. You can see inside there. So the ductwork is lined and it, it will keep the unit uh, quiet. And you see the back side here. Got a nice radius. It's good for the airflow. And then tied into the old return air ductwork there. So it's looking good. Next, we'll be working on the outside, uh, mounting the unit. Got my mount done for the unit. If you see, uh, it's on a steep grade here, which was uh, basically the unit, the old unit was falling down the hill had to keep propping it up, you know, as the grade changed. So on the new unit, I just got it off the ground completely, mounted it on the side, and I actually got it on these lag, these uh, all thread bolts. You can see right here, I didn't even have to put it on the siding. And then behind it, I just got a steel frame uh, because the brick didn't go up all the way. I'll show you behind. It's a steep hill there. And then right here in the garage, just got some angle iron that goes all the way to the floor. So the unit's basically resting on the floor of the garage. And, uh, and then these angle irons right here are holding uh, the unit because the wall stopped and then that wall is cinder block. It's really not that strong, not like a, a reinforced concrete solid. So basically it's not sitting, it's not resting on that wall at all. All the weight is on the angle irons and on the bottom uh, right there. So this mount uh, worked out really nice. All right, I'm connecting the pipes here. I wanted to show how I'm going to solder it. And also, see how there's a bunch of sand in there from sanding? I'm using the wire, the mesh sandpaper. It's important that all that grit is out, especially in the pipe here. So what I do is I blow it out with my trusty uh, CO CO2 can. And that gets it nice and clean. And then I'll do the same thing here. I already capped that at the other end. Makes the pipe nice and clean. Alright, we got our electrical finished. We got the drain in. That's for the condensate drain and I make it easy to clean. Just take the tape off. That trap can come out. We got the uh, thermostat wires here hooked up. They go to the main control board here and then those terminal blocks. Also, I wired in the overflow switch on the pump. And what that does is the water level, first it turns on the pump, but if the pump doesn't turn on because it's not plugged in or clogged up, the water level goes higher and then it'll shut off uh, the unit uh, to prevent uh, water from coming out. So uh, I'm going to do start doing startup now and check the airflow first. I need a 1600 CFM on a 4 ton unit, that's 400 per ton. 
and uh, we'll check that out see how the ductwork is the condensing unit it's running nice and quiet and then you can see it's up it's not even on the ground it's just mounted up hanging on the supports there so it'll be there'll never be any uh, settling issues on that unit because of the slope you can see there's quite a hill right here so I got it up on the brackets and it's literally not even touching the wall there you can see right here just like that all right I have the vent pipe in downstairs and uh, you see it connects to the furnace four inch Class B double wall. I run straight across. I go to six inch existing, six inch T's. I left a future three inch for the water heater, which is electric right now, but it could go to gas anytime now. And then here's the uh, clean out, which is required at the bottom there. Now you passed the uh, gas inspection here. Inspector came out and just verified the gauge. And uh, so next is uh, gas companies pulling permits. They're going to be digging up. Uh, actually, they're going to hopefully not dig up the street, but they're going to tunnel under the street with a tunneling machine because the pipes on the other side of the street there, and they should be able to tunnel all the way over. And uh, and then they'll put the meter uh, right there. And uh, they're tunneling. It's just a question of if they hit any rocks. But if they hit rocks, that's on their end. And because uh, the three hundred eighty-three dollars will cover, uh, you know, even if they have to dig, and uh, because of rocks. I got the gas meter in. I'm running the heat right now. You can hear it running. See the gas meter and meter in there. Let's go look at the furnace. Got the furnace running here. You see it doesn't use burners. It actually uses jets. And there's no pilot. It just uses a hot surface ignition. And it's quite quiet. It's uh, about it's quieter than conversation. 
And then we got the exhaust going outside. It's looking good. When the furnace first started, you could see a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney there. I put in that silver uh, vent cap. Uh, now it's uh, cleared out. Natural gas, it burns uh, really clean. And uh, so you really don't even see any smoke or there's no soot or anything you know, from it. But uh, this job turned out well. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And thanks for watching.